Welcome to Box Bread. And here I'm going to be talking about a fight that's happening next weekend. And it's for the WBA, IBF, WBO and IBO World Heavyweight titles, which are currently held by Vladimir Klitschko. And he's putting them on the line against Jean-Marc Momek. Uh, now, I think that uh, Vladimir Klitschko is going to win this fight. I'm going to go for a late stoppage victory in this one. Um, and... You know, one thing to be taken into into consideration here is that Jean-Marc Momek, aside from aging, has been out of the ring since December 2010. That's over a year, and you know, so he's had a layoff. In that fight, he defeated Timo Ibragimov by split decision. Um, I just think style-wise, matchup-wise, this suits Vladimir Klitschko once again. Um, Basically, because I think that you can dictate the pace of the fight and dictate the fight against Jean Marc Momek with a good jab and being good on the front foot moving forward. These are two things that Vladimir Klitschko is good at. Um, pretty much what he did to David Hay. Um, he was able to keep on the front foot moving forward, uh, keep the jab out there, as he, he always has a strong jab, as we know. And he was able to dictate the fight how he wanted it to play out. Um, I think that Momek uh, will struggle from on the outside. Um, he has the ability to throw good combinations, in my opinion, Momek. Um, but the problem he has for me is that his jab's not particularly a good one. And he's not very clean in his work, which doesn't allow him to really set up those combinations which is something you really need to do when you're going up against Vladimir Klitschko. Um, I really am struggling to find um, reasons why Momek will would, would, would win this fight and trouble uh, Vladimir Klitschko. I just think that the style, uh, style-wise this matchup is built for Klitschko because, like I've said, uh, if you've got a good jab and you're good moving forward and you can keep um, Momek on the defensive with his guard up. Momek's not the type of guy that's going to counter punch you. He's not the type of guy who's going to be dangerous going backwards. He's not the type of guy, in my opinion, who um, is able to switch things very quickly. Um, so if you've got him on the defensive, he's not suddenly, like I said, going to counter punch you or come with a quick, uh, quick combination. Particularly if you've got a good jab and you're keeping the distance there. If you're the type of fighter who, um, if you watch uh, Momek against Vinny Madelone, if you're like Madelone who who's not so uh, so uh, tall and with a with a long reach and a dic dictating jab um, then Momek was able to uh, turn the fight quickly with by by although he couldn't set up his, his punches he was able to come in quickly and rush in with like, some good combinations and that's where he was able to pick up points um, I just can't see him being able to do that against uh, Klitschko if he does try that he's gonna get caught coming in um, I just think uh, he needs to, if he wants, you know, if he wants to survive the distance, he's going to have to to bounce around quite a lot, which he's able to do. He's going to have to use his movements. I think he's got decent movements, um, Momek. He will be, he will be able to to bounce around the ring and do similar to what David Hay was able to do. Try and keep away and maintain his maintain a try and maintain a solid defense and keep away from Klitschko um, and that right hand. Um, but I think later on. Um, just my opinion, I think that uh, Vladimir Klitschko is going to be able to catch up with uh, Mormek and he's going to be able to start landing that right hand with some precision. Um, so I think this fight's going to be dictated by the jab and the come forward style of Vladimir Klitschko. I think it's a very good style matchup for him. Please let me know what you guys think. Um, you know, what chance do you give Mormek in this fight? Uh, what do you think of this fight? Because, you know, Mormek won the international title against the Bragamar, but he's been out of the ring for over a year, so do you think he really deserves this shot, you know? Um, let me know what you guys think anyway. Thanks for watching, this is Boxpred, and I'm out.